Well, Yugi, it's seven o'clock. Time for bed. Grandpa, I'm 16 years old. Can't you let me stay up a bit longer for once? Nonsense! You need as much sleep as you can get. Especially on Christmas Eve. How else are you going to grow up to be big and strong like me? Grandpa, you're a midget. I'm taller than you, sonny boy. You're a midget, Grandpa. Watch your tongue, Yugi. All the men in the Moto family have been vertically challenged. It's in our genes. So is my dad a midget too? As a matter of fact, he was. But no matter how short he was, was. I still loved him. That is, until the accident. Grandpa, no! Don't mention the accident. Not on Christmas Eve. You're right. I'm sorry. Hey, I bet you're really excited about Christmas, eh? Bet you can't wait to find out what Santa got you. I already know what he got me, Grandpa. You do? Yeah, the same thing he always gets me. Children's trading cards. It didn't used to bother me, but ever since I became the king of card games, it's become kind of redundant. I mean, I already have every trading card known to man. Why does he keep sending me booster packs? Perhaps it's because he loves you. Yeah, well, maybe if he loved me, he'd get me a PlayStation 3. Well, maybe Santa can't afford one. Well, maybe Santa can just go to hell then. Well, maybe Santa thinks he'll see you there after he smothers you with a pillow in your sleep. Pleasant dreams, Yugi! <laughs> Are you still asleep, Yugi? Huh? What? Who's there? Santa? Is that you? No, Yugi. I'm not Santa Claus. Oh, sorry, Pharaoh. Your booming voice just kind of made me think For that... one thing, Santa isn't nearly as handsome as I am. For another, he isn't Egyptian. I could go on. What's the matter, Pharaoh? I'm trying to sleep. I'm just curious about this whole Christmas thing. Do you think you could explain it to me? Well, once every year we buy gifts for all the people we love and forget about all the troubles in the world so that we can pretend that peace and happiness are attainable concepts if only just for one day. Also, we eat cake. What kind of cake? Christmas cake. Fascinating. You know, Yugi, I think we had Christmas back in ancient Egypt. I kinda doubt that, Pharaoh. That was over 3,000 years ago. Th that's long before the birth of- No, we definitely had it. Except we didn't call it Christmas. We called it Slavemus. Slavemus? Slavemus. In fact, I think I created it. It was a day where each Egyptian family was forced to deliver unto me the youngest member of their household to become one of my servants. It was the happiest time of the year. Unless you were a slave, of course. Uh-huh. Say, Yugi, would you like to hear one of my favorite Slavemus stories? Okay, just so long as it doesn't rhyme. I had enough of that when we dueled the Paradox Brothers. Very well. It's called How the Thief King Stole Slavemus. <clears throat> the Pharaoh of Egypt loved Slavemus a lot, but the Thief King who lived north of Egypt did not. I thought you said this wasn't going to rhyme. Uh, that was purely coincidental, I assure you. Moving right along, the Thief King thought Slavemus smelled really quite fishy, as he stood in a manner that made him look bishy. He grumbled aloud. Why, there's nothing more rude than forcing your people into abject servitude. And then it occurred to this wretched man that he could stop Slavemus, and he had just the plan. The Pharaoh awoke the very next day, wearing an outfit that made him look... uh... Handsome. He stood at his window and gazed at the sight of his people in awe, though most were in fright, for they knew his approach could mean only one thing. They would soon have to polish his millennium bling. Merry Slavemus, he cried for each of them to hear. May this one be even more fun than last year, for soon you shall each in bondage be placed. And no, not like that, wipe that smirk off your face, for the bondage you'll feel isn't nearly so funny. You'll do all my chores and won't get any money. The Egyptian throng let out a sigh, and everywhere babies started to cry. You see, Slavemus was fun for only one man, the Egyptian pharaoh who looks good with a tan. But just before the guards could make their move, the Thief King stepped forward with something to prove. What good are your slaves?
caves if they've nothing to clean. He scowled at the pharaoh, for he was really quite mean. While you were asleep, I cleaned out your home. I even took your solid gold garden gnome. Indeed, it was true. He had done as he claimed, said the pharaoh. If this weren't a children's story, I'd have you maimed. The thief king laughed, thinking he'd won the day. But the pharaoh wouldn't let some jerk have his way. And so now, since his royal throne had been taken, it seemed Slavemus was to be all but forsaken. However, the pharaoh knew a solution that would foil the thief king's attempted retribution. From this day forth, the pharaoh happily declared, no citizen of Egypt shall have reason to be scared. Slavemus is cancelled. Yes, you heard me right. And all at once, there was a cry of delight. Though short-lived, for the pharaoh continued to say, people of Egypt will have Slavemus every day. A hush fell across the gathering crowd as the sound of the pharaoh's voice became loud. Until my palace is refurbished anew, no Egyptian goes free, not even you. He pointed at a child around five years of age. And believe me, you'll wish you got minimum wage. The thief king saw things had grown out of hand as widespread panic swept over the land. But he was powerless to stop the pharaoh's royal guards. After all, they'd yet to invent dual monster cards. And as the pharaoh relished in his ungodly might, he laughed. Merry slave must to all, and to all a good night. Huh, I was expecting a happy ending. What are you talking about? That was a happy ending. Yeah, but only for the pharaoh. Everybody else was miserable. What's your point? Merry Christmas, Yugi! Time to open your presents! Gee, I wonder what I got. Oh, look. Trading cards. What a surprise. But not just any trading cards. These are Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's trading cards. Notice how they added motorcycles to make the game more interesting. Yeah, they tried adding motorcycles to our show in Season 4, and we all know how well that turned out. Where are my presents? Just because I inhabit your body, it doesn't mean I should have to share whatever you get. Don't be so selfish, Pharaoh. Besides, I didn't see you getting any presents for anybody. That's what you think. Merry Christmas, my evil council of doom. I appreciate you all showing up on Christmas Day to discuss how to properly vanquish our mortal enemy. Actually, nobody else could make it. It's just you and me. Well then, it looks like the rest of the council will miss out on this awesome present we got from an anonymous fan. I hope it's not another finger. Fangirls are always sending me those. They think the sight of their blood makes me happy. And it usually does. No, it's not a finger. It's way too big. Also, it's ticking. Marek, you might want to throw that out. It could be dangerous. Oh, I bet it's a bomb. Wouldn't that just be f***ing <coughs> awesome? Marek, we have about five seconds left to live. You might want to try saying something profound. Okay. Um... Just give me a minute. I'm trying to think of a good they might be giants qu- Pharaoh, that was low, even for you, blowing up our enemies on Christmas Day. Couldn't you have at least waited until New Year's? Nope, this way was a lot more fun. Merry Slavemus, everybody!